My name is Paul Marino, and uh, we're here today uh, just uh, trying to preserve uh, one of our sacred sites. It's known as CAORA 83, which is the Cogstone site. Uh, this is this land was home to the uh, Gabrielino uh, people and the Juanino, and uh, this, uh, there's no other site like this on the on the whole world in the whole world. <coughs> and it's, it's called the Cogstone site, referred to these uh, little Cogstone wells that have uh, uh, been found here in, in mass quantity, and uh, in no other place in the world have they been found like that. And they're still not too sure what what the, what they were used for, or or even what they are. And uh, this site has also been nominated twice for a National Register of Historical Places, and once by the Smithsonian Institute for its. Uh, uh, Word, but the astronomical, astro, astronomical, astronomical uh, significance uh, uh, what, what? Of, of dealing with the stars and dealing with the alignment of the stars and of the, the equinoxes uh, with this site. And, uh, so this was a cemetery and and an astronomical site yes, aligned. Yeah. So in other words, people were measuring at least uh, movements of celestial events. Yes. And it wasn't just somewhere you dumped people. Oh no! There was no, significance no, 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 no. here. Very, very significant. Yeah. And uh, you know we're here. They they removed uh, on ORA 83 over 4,000 artifacts. Uh, over 174 remains. And uh, what would you, know, you like to see done? Uh, well, which we we've implemented a, uh, asking the coastal commission for a revocation permit to uh, stop the building, to stop the destruction of our sacred site. Uh, you know, to preserve our, preserve us, preserve our culture, preserve our heritage, uh, have respect for, for the ancestors who are buried here. Uh, these are places where as native people, where we, this is our connection, this is our connection to our ancestors, our connection to, to, uh, to the spirit world. And, uh, uh, you know, so what we'd like to see done here is we'd like to see uh, you know, construction stopped, and, and if, if we're not successful at that, we need to sit down with this developer and uh, uh, come to some terms of agreement with, you know, maybe donating some land, uh, you know, for the purpose of ceremonial, for the purpose where we can come back here and pray, for so we can still have our, our, our connection to, to our culture, to our ancestors, to our way of life. And if people want to help out, what should they do? Uh... At this time, you can you can email me. <laughs> and what's your name and where are uh, you? My name is Paul Marino. I'll even give you my phone number. It's area code 949-228-7262. And I have an email, bigrockcreek at msn.com. And uh, it'd also be helpful to uh, send letters to the Native American Heritage Commission. Uh, attention to uh, uh, Larry Myers and uh, to the California Coastal Commission. Uh, that would really help us. And what can the Coastal Commission do? The Coastal Commission has the authority to to revoke the permit to build, and uh, you know that's what we're we're going for. We're going. I mean, I can go on and on and on about the, the problems that what took place at this site, and uh, as far as with MLDs who are the most likely descendants who are monitoring the site, you know what, what should have been done and what wasn't done. But, uh, and what's the technical name that they have for the site? This is the Cogstone site, C A O R A 83. And uh, yeah. All right, thanks. All right, thank you.